How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The Hot Wars expansion saw tons of stuff being added to the game and there are actually a lot of hidden new features or new stuff within the Hot Wars expansion update which hasn't really been told about and in this video we're going to cover a load of the secret stuff, a load of the hidden stuff, the new stuff that we didn't know about. If you like new features guys and you like stuff like this please do consider subscribing, we do stuff like this all the time. Let's get into Let's get into a bunch of new stuff added within the Hot Wheels expansion which you might not have known about. Accolades! As expected, there are a bunch of accolades being added for the Hot Wheels expansion. This one's not really that secret, but I want to mention it anyway. There's a new accolade category for the Hot Wheels, which means if you're trying to get 100% on all of the accolades and you don't have the expansion, you're not going to be able to do that. There are no rewards within these accolades, they are just very, very basic. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of Hot Wheels accolades that have been added. There has been an FOV slider added within the settings of the Hot Wheels expansion. If you go to the Hot Wheels map and go to your video settings, you will see a field of view slider for console players. If you are on Xbox, you can now customise your field of view up and down when you are in chase cam, sort of close up or far away chase cam. You can change your field of view layout which is massive on console, we've not been able to do this before. I don't think you have the ability to do this on the Mexico map, it's only on Hot Wheels, which is really weird, I don't know why they wouldn't give us it on Mexico, but at least on the Hot Wheels expansion you can now change your field of view on Xbox, really cool. There's been a new difficulty setting added within the update as well. In the standard difficulty settings menu where you change your driver tire difficulty and assists, there's an option right at the bottom to turn on an assist which helps you steer on some of the Hot Wheels tracks in really difficult situations like the magnetic tracks where it's really steep, you're driving on a side, you know, you can read the description there. A difficulty setting which helps and assists you on some of the Hot Wheels tracks which by default is actually on on. so if you don't want this on you have to manually go and turn it off some more stuff added we have clothing and horns there are a bunch of hot wheels related clothing helmets race suits shirts boots and shoes just a bunch of hot wheels branded stuff within the clothing cup customization sort of thing. You'll find that you unlock most of this clothing yourself anyway through the campaign missions of Hot Wheels. There are some new horns added as I said. I'm going to play them all now. They're all obviously Hot Wheels related. Here are all of the new Hot Wheels horns. The next one is a bit of a weird one but it is a new car which isn't in the game yet but has been spotted within the Hot Wheels achievement screenshots. I don't know if you've noticed that but each achievement does have an image and there is an achievement for getting 25 wheel spins within the expansion and this is the image that this expansion or sorry this achievement has dedicated to it. It shows quite a few vehicles parked at the Horizon Nexus outpost and if you look in the bottom right hand corner that's the BMW M3 GTS, the E92. That's sort of something to take. Maybe we're going to be getting the E93, sorry, E92 BMW M3 GTS at some point into the game. As it's been seen, it's obviously in the game. So maybe we'll see that at some point. There is a new tyre compound added to the game and it is a red one which is very similar to the white tyre wall horizon stickers. If you go to any car now you'll see the white horizon sticker tyre wall sort of slick compound and then next to it you will see a red Hot Wheels one. It's basically the same thing just with a red stripe around the tyre wall rather than the horizon lettering. Looks kind of cool on some cars, on the Supra doesn't look so great. 
Now they have also added new Hot Wheels Spectra Flame colors to each of the cars. You may have seen I mentioned these two things in the Series 10 update, but here is what they actually look like and they look really cool. The Spectra Flame colors have really got sort of a, a glossy sort of specky metal flake to them. They look really cool. Those were added within Series 10 and you don't need the expansion to use these. So if you don't have the expansion, you're on the standard Mexico map, you can go and customize your cars with the red tire walls and this cool Spectra Flame type thing. It's pretty damn awesome. There has been new skills added to the game. If you've played a bit of Hot Wheels, you may not have noticed this, but where the skills pop up in the top of the screen, there are actually new skills added, such as Speed Boost, when you're going over the boosts, and G Forza. Not G Force, G Forza. You'll get these as you're going sort of, you're taking big turns, you're doing loop de loops, you'll get G Forza skills just for taking a lot of G Force and a lot of angle. As I'm sure you've seen, there is also a new sort of crosshair thing in the middle of the screen. This can be turned off in settings. I turned mine off since I didn't really like it, but it's sort of the type of thing you get on aeroplanes. It shows you your sort of your level if that makes sense it tells you which way is up and how cambered you are going around loops and going upside down and sideways it gives you an idea of where straight is because you sort of lose the concept of that it's just a new crosshair thing you can turn it off but nevertheless it's still something new there is a new thing added that's scattered around the Hot Wheels map, which you do need for some of the challenges, but it doesn't really tell you much about until you come across them yourself, and they are called Tank Man. These are floating piñata things which make a weird noise. They're very similar to bonus boards, they give you a bit of a XP thing for getting it and they go towards your challenges, but you usually have to go up some kind of ramp to get them. They're scattered around the Hot Wheels map, you'll find them, you'll hear them. That's something new that wasn't really mentioned much. There are now new ways to start event lab creations on the Hot Wheels map. You'll see icons like this scattered around the Hot Wheels map, which if you go to, is actually the starting point of a custom race. It's not a race itself because nothing's been made yet, but these are actually actual custom starting locations for your Hot Wheels tracks. I'm sure there are actually a bunch of hidden or new stuff that I've missed, but as far as I'm aware, that is, that is some of the things I came across while I've been playing the game over the course of the past week. Let me know in the comment section below what some of your favourite features are that have been added within the update, whether that's stuff you found within this video or stuff that you've already known about, something else. Personally, I think it's a field of view slider. That is a huge thing for console players and it's finally been added, so that's pretty cool. Anyway guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't to even more content just like this, and I'll see you all later.